Hey everyone, welcome back to Silver and Forest for the next episode in our Let's Play series. So we're starting off pretty much exactly where we finished off the last episode. So we're going to continue working away expanding and today I want to try and get the new farmhouse in. So if we head up to the area I showed at the end, towards the end of the last video where I was planning on building it. Uh, this may change depending on exactly how the area looks once we've actually cleared the trees. So I've got the tree harvester up here ready and I've also got the yarder set up which is just about to see the wires there. It's still in follow me mode, <laughs> it's starting to follow me. So I've got that set up over to our landing area that we cleared previously. So that was the area of land where we started clearing other trees down and we put the tracking up to there so that's kind of our landing area. Uh, the main reason for that is because this is not very flat and also trying to get across here with a truck or trailer uh, with a wheel load or anything to load up is going to be a bit tricky. So I thought it would be better if we just yard the trees straight over to the clearing over there and then they can be loaded up there. So we'll do the same as what we did before. We'll just cut up everything 6 metres. Uh, get it all piled up into the middle here in this nice clear area just underneath the yarder then we can get it all attached up and sent over to the other area and then we can get it all loaded up and sorted out over there so we will need to get those rocks out as well so we'll need to get the skid steer up here with the hydraulic breaker on I've, I think it is only that one rock there that needs clearing uh, some of the other trees that we can't cut with the tree harvester will clear out the way as well just so they can completely clear this area and then we'll try and flatten it down a little bit just so we can get the house built in a decent position uh, so once we've got this actually cleared though and i come to see how well the house actually fits it's a bit difficult with all the trees in the way i may change my mind on putting it here And if I do change my mind and we do it, what we'll do with this area is maybe start planting some redwoods in place of the trees we cut down. So we can uh, get some redwood or sequoias growing. So yeah, we'll get all this area cleared. I may clear more trees than we need to. And then we can always just plant some back in afterwards to uh, fill in any gap spaces and make it look a little bit more homely. I think we've got most of the trees. I don't think it's worth clearing any more down that way other than this one here. Uh, this one may not be in, in the way, but we'll just clear it just in case. So what we'll need to do then is start getting these connected up to the yarder and getting cleared out the way. There's possibly 
two more over there. But we've got a nice big stack of logs here. So a few options, we could either take these up to the old sawmill, which doesn't quite need topping up just yet, because we've not long done it. Or we could sell them uh, for a bit of extra money, uh, not that we actually need it. They're like sitting on 1.8 million. So I'll leave that one there. Get that switched off. So yeah, there's that tree just in front of us there and the smaller one next to it. So we may take those out as well. But we'll start getting this area cleared first. Uh, so then we need to get the rock broken up here. Uh, we'll get rid of these ones as well just with a chainsaw. Actually, we'll probably get these two as well. And possibly that little one. I'm not sure how much we're going to have to flatten this area. So that's if it's suitable to do what we want. Oh, is that still in follow me mode? I don't know why it's now coming back over here. From being all the way over there. So yeah, we'll start getting these connected up. We'll do four at a time. Can get four. Let us take any more. Um, oh, those ones are too far away. Right, let's drop those ones off. See if we can get these four instead. There we go. We'll get these ones lifted up and then we'll get these sent over to the other side. Which I think is X. So if I press X, nope. Oh, I can't remember the controls for this. Pretty sure it was X to send it to the other side. Ah, there we go. You have to disable follow me. So that'll go across to the actual yarder itself and we'll drop those off there. Yeah, so it's going to take a while just to get these all cleared out of the way. Um, but I'll carry on getting all this done. Get them all dropped off over where the yarder is over there. Which we'll just head over there now and we can see where we're actually dropping them off. So this is the area we cleared. So we could have a landing because originally we was going to continue clearing the trees up there. Um, we haven't quite got to that bit yet, but we haven't really needed to either. So we'll get those ones dropped off and we can send that back. If we press Y, it should go back to last position, which is over where we were. So if you're not sure of that, if you just look at the help window, you can see the flashing triangle above the line. That's the last position it was in so when you press Y on the keyboard or whichever the controller command is for that it all go back to that position so I'm going to continue getting all these logs over here get them out of the way and we can get this area leveled um, hopefully then possibly get the house built I say that may change depending if it actually fits in suitably um, we can get ac actually get access up here it may be a bit tricky to get a bridge across depending how well we can get the landscaping done there's next four hooked up yeah so i'll see you back here in a bit and hopefully all this should be cleared out the way and uh possibly get our house built okay so the air has been cleared now all the logs are out the way all the stumps have been removed hopefully so next job will be to try and level the area i've broke up the rocks as well and there was another rock there so this is where it's going to get a little bit tricky and a little bit probably expensive is just working out exactly how much of this we need to actually like level 
how far down we need to come. So what we'll do first is go in the farmhouses. And the one I want to build is the farmhouse by Elk Mountain Modding. Uh, which is the same one I'm using on the Western Wilds. And also the same one I used in FS19 on Crater Lake. So very nice and really well detailed farmhouse. So as you can see at the moment it doesn't fit on there very well. So we are going to need to flatten down that area. And I'm thinking if we come somewhere where these decorative stumps are. Because we're not going to be able to get rid of those. Uh, come off at that level. So once we've got our level we can just increase the brush size a little bit. I don't want to come too close to the slope down because I don't want to start raising ground. So I just want to try and lower the high bits down to this level. So just go over to the side just until it starts raising. And we know where to stop. Yeah. I'm not sure if this area is going to be suitable. So we may abandon this idea. And uh, build it somewhere else. But I have had a good look around the map. And there's not many places I can find that are really suitable. Other than the areas we've pretty much already used. So we've got farmhouses again. So that fits in a lot better. But I still think we need a little bit more level land around it. Let's see if we can get it down a slight bit more. Well, if we take it down too far here, those decorative stumps are going to start being like floating in the air, which I don't really want to do. So we'll see if we can get this down to that level. So that give us a little bit more space. Uh, the trick of it then is going to be working out how to get access up to it. Let's see how that looks again. Farmhouses and we'll see. That kind of fits in a bit better now. So we could potentially put that there but then it's working out how we're going to get round to the garage so maybe bring that down a little bit more so it's pointing down the road a little bit and maybe if we go there now the good thing about having the better place of all sell price as well we can actually sell it for the exact same price if we if we need to so we're not going to lose any money if we do that straight away. I don't think that looks too bad. Now we'll obviously tidy up all around with some like grass. So what we need to do work out now is how we're going to tidy up the front of it. So possibly put a path that comes off. Um, probably just goes around to this way and we'll have one single access that comes down here. Uh, I think looking at the stream that looks like the best point across there so if we go decorations see if we can fit one of the bridges in similar to what we used last time on the bridge pack and so there's nice wood looking bridges which I think would fit quite nice it just depends whether we can actually get the landscaping to work so we want the bridge pack. There we go. That's the smallest one. So that'll fit over there, but we just need to raise the land a little bit to get that raised up. Actually, that one looks like it fits a, a bit better. Uh, may give us a uh, nice level to work off. We have it more pointing that way, and then we'll go V to disable collisions. And drop that in there. 
So that's high enough over the stream that it's not sunk into it. So it'll just be a case of trying to get this all leveled. Raising the train. Lowering it, smoothing it out <laughs> until we get the right level like we did last time. Which is quite tricky to do and took quite a, a while to uh, get it perfect or as close to. So yeah, it's just a case to keep doing that, raising up, try and smooth it out till it looks level. And eventually you'll get to a point where you can take a level off that to flatten the terrain out a little bit around it. And then you can just smooth that down with the terrain tool. It doesn't look like that one bit doesn't want to raise there. Let's try that. Smooth that down a bit. Yeah, so I'll play around with this. I'll try and get this side done as well. Get this all sorted out and then uh, we'll see how it looks. Okay, so that's our new farmhouse built, a little access bridge. Again, with the sheds last time, I may need to just fine tune the terrain. I say sometimes it's so difficult when you're in actual terrain mode to see how it looks. It looks like there's a slight dip just there that may need smoothing out a little bit. Okay, so just walking around and seeing what it's like. I'll probably come around as well, adding a few more decorate decorations around um, once I've got a few more installed well, we've got a, a nice new farmhouse all up well in the mountains it's been nice to get some more trees around especially like where it's sparse on the hill so it feels a little bit more enclosed in an actual forest setting um, but yeah this is a, an absolutely fantastic detailed house if you've uh not seen this one and this is available from elk mountain modding's facebook page 
Uh, definitely worth going to check that page out and give it a follow. So we've got sleep trigger up here somewhere. Where's my sleep trigger gone? Oh, that sleep trigger seems to have disappeared. Normally there's a sleep trigger in here. Oh, it's because I'm, I've got the yarder set up over the house. <laughs> it's picking up the yard and not the sleep trigger, but there is a sleep trigger in there. TV as well. Again, can't, I can't access any of these. Oh, there's TV on. I didn't realise it had sound as well. Uh, we've got a nice garage now where we can keep our pickup truck. They're a really nice house. There is uh, the other one as well that they from Melt Mountain modding, which I used on Wilhelmina Forest in the end. Uh, which is a little bit different to this, a bit more of a ranch style house. Um, yeah, I really do like this one. It doesn't fit perfectly. Obviously, the best way would have been having some access off the front as well but I kind of like how it does fit in here I so say we'll probably get a little bit more around it has a little bit more detailing in uh, maybe some more decorative items around the house as well uh, but yeah that's our new farmhouse done so we can get our tree harvester back from here I'm just going to check as well um, on our productions I think at the moment yeah, we've got a problem with the long planks. I seem to keep running low. I set it to auto distribute. And it seems to keep sending them to the barrel factory, even though it doesn't need any. Um, so I've just changed it back to spawning. So I'll have to manually start taking those around. The shingle factory is also out. I don't think there's any being produced yet. Up at the sawmill. Um, I've stopped prefab walls and wood beams i don't know if that'll increase the production on these two any um i did stop those for a little bit just so we also got a reduction on how much wood we're using um yeah long planks at the moment we seem to be struggling with the distribution doesn't seem to be very even um so yeah we'll have to just start going around manually delivering those again so as for, let's just check the paper factory. Yeah, that's okay. So the old sawmill should be fine. Uh, materials missing. So yeah, it's just the long planks, which I don't think we've got any sat up there just yet. So I don't think we can do anything with that. Um, so I might have to wait until there's a few pallets spawned and I'll go and get those. I don't think the poplars are ready just yet. Yeah, they're still growing. Um, so, yeah, what we could do next, we could head down to field three, get the extension done on that ready for planting. Oh, actually, we could actually plant that if we was going to do oats. So, yeah, we could go, we'll head down to field three with a Stoiga and the plow. We'll get that extended and then we'll get it planted up with some oats. And so up to field three. I cleared all these short logs except that one there. <laughs> I just noticed I've sp spotted one I missed. I'll just get rid of that, rid of that one. I say, just as I say, I cleared all the small logs. I took them down to the paper mill. And I just spot that one I missed. It's typical. <laughs> so yeah, we can extend the field a little bit this end. Not a huge amount. I'm not going to go any further out that way because there's not really much space there anyway and I don't want to get too close to that that random house that's got no access other than from the water uh, it's a bit, a bit odd maybe we'll have to build a track in for them oh yeah if we come off this end possibly actually if we can get rid of these maybe have to come a little bit further uh, get rid of this one as well We'll just extend it this end, the far end, and then to the right as far as we can. 
as close as we can get to the trees where we left up to. Oh, there's the rocks as well, I forgot. Yeah, I think there's a, a rock or two rocks down that end we may need to clear. Uh, we'll get the field ploughed in this end first and then work our way down and see. Because I can't remember if they're still there or not. Let's get this lowered down. Uh, switch on allow create fields. Use the degrees on the enhanced control mod just to keep it 90. As close as. And we'll go forward to to there apparently because <laughs> there's a little tree that we can't get through. Yeah, so if we bring that up to say about there should do us. Don't want to come too close to the trees. And we'll just work our way up that way now. Try and get this as straight as possible. It's not so bad if you're doing this because obviously we can tidy up with the landscaping tools if need be. So we can just delete the edges of the field and straighten them all up nicely with that. Uh, but if we can get it with the play first time it'll save us a little bit of money. It's landscaping costs because I don't have the free landscaping mod installed. Let's get that load down again. Just go back a little bit. Now we want to get this to 360 or 0. And just keep it nice and straight. So I'll do flick the analog stick every time it goes off 0. So flick it left or right. That's how I tend to keep straight without using the enhanced vehicle control mod. I get asked that quite a lot, how I keep straight. <laughs> it's just use the same on the minimap down in the left hand corner. You can see the degrees. Uh, of heading, I just do your best as you can to keep that on zero or 270, 180, 90, depending which way you're going. So I think that might do us there, going that way. So yeah, what we'll do is we'll head down that direction now, get it in a nice straight line, and then we'll finish plowing in the up to the edge of the field. And then we can get some lime spread on this and then the the oats zone. So this time we'll be 270. It is a little bit more difficult with the articulator tracks because obviously the uh, steering's bounces around a little bit. If we can get 270. Um, I was going to say I'll activate the enhanced vehicle control mod but I don't have my stream deck actually plugged in at the moment. And I can't remember the key command, so we're going to have to do this manually. So try and keep it 270. And that will work our way down. Last little bit of the field extension to blow in. And we'll go and grab the skid steer with the hydraulic breaker and get those two rocks broken up. So we can get those cleared out of the way. So we'll keep the stiger down here just for a little bit because we may need to blow in underneath those rocks. Just where it lifted up a little bit. And also see if we can get rid of this. There we go. So we've got those two rocks to break up. And say I'll it, the plow did go over the top, but there's a little bit there that doesn't look like it's plowed. So we may need to just go run the plow over those, and then we need to get some lime on it. And then we can also 
get the oats sewn in that one. So yeah, I'll go and grab the skid steer and uh, get the pickup truck as well. Let's bring that over on the little trailer. So a slight change of plan. I went to get the pickup truck with a small trailer and realised there's no ramps on the back of that. So <laughs> as well, we may, may as well use the uh, big trailer. We can bring the John Deere with the lime spreader down here as well. So we've got the skid steer with the hydraulic breaker on. Uh, we can do the lime spreading as well while we're here. Get all those straps off. So, so first we need to get the rocks broken up first and then we'll probably have to just play with that bit of field and we can get the lime spread. Let's jump in the little massey. One of these things that we bought quite early on to do the rock breaking, we've not had to use it a huge amount. And after a while, I think pretty much all the contracts, rock breaking and dead wood contracts, uh, log transport just become a bit of a waste of time we're doing as we're making so much money from uh, the productions. Seems a bit pointless doing a few log transporting contracts, but maybe we'll do a few more before we do finish up. Just try a few different areas of the map. the first one broken up I'm not going to bother picking up the stones once we go over with the player it should delete the actual pile of stones anyway There's pretty, they're pretty much worthless moving or collecting up so that's the rocks broken up that folded up and put away. We'll get this back on the trailer so it's ready to go back. And then we'll jump in the Steiger. Just go over those two bits with the plow. And then we'll get the lime spread. I say this should delete the rock piles as well. get over them. Nope. A small small pile of loose stones just like a concrete lump. <laughs> no movement. It'd be good if stuff like that was would move and like squash out a bit like when you're going over the chaff in a bunker silo. How it like moves around as you go over it with some weight. It would be nice if other piles of material did the same as well. Just like flatten out a little bit. There we go, that's that one done. And just this little pile here. There we go, so that's all the field played in, or the extension. So we just get some lime on there next, and then we can get the barley. No, oats. I keep saying barley. <laughs> we can get some oats soon. That's the lime spreading all done. So next job will be to get it sewn with the oats. And then we'll go over it with the rollers and get some herbicide sprayed on the middle section where we've not plowed. Just to stop the weeds coming through. So I'll need to get all this back to the yard and then come back then with the Steiger with the two seed drills on.
and then we can get the barley soon. Sorry. Okay, the barley's all been sown, and I've just been over it with the rollers. So last job for today will be to just spray the herbicide on the centre section of the field that's not been ploughed, so we can stop the weeds coming through. Our centre section and down this left hand side. And that'll be this field done. So we've got one field left to do, which, well, the two smaller fields, which is we've still got to join together. So that'll be a job for next time. We'll go over that with the plow. Uh, join those two fields together and then get a crop sown in there as well. And that'll be all our fields done. So somewhere should start spraying there we go uh, the poplars I've checked and they're still showing growth stage 10 of 13 so I think they may be a few months yet or at least a couple of months before they're ready to harvest so we will get one full harvest off the poplars before we uh, finish up uh, the trees that we planted in between the rows, they're all fully grown now as well. So we would be at a point once we've harvested the poplars, we could start harvesting those as well. And then continue replanting them so you get that continuous supply of trees for the sawmill or to sell. So every few months you cut a couple of rows, replant them. Uh, next month cut a couple of rows or one row, replant it. Uh, now we just need to find where the end of the field was because we don't need to spray all of it. It looks like somewhere there, so we go back this way. So yeah, there's still still plenty for us to do. Obviously, we need still need to keep on top of the sawmill. Uh, that's going to be okay for the rest of this month and next month. So that'll be. May when we'll need to look at topping that up again. And then we should start the final harvesting uh, with our barley in July. And then once we've finished all, all the crops, everything's been harvested. Well, that will be us all finished here on Silver Run. I don't think there's much else we can do beyond that. All there is to do. There's still a few more bits of equipment from the forestry, from the Platinum Expansion I want to try out before we do finish up as well. So we'll have a look at using some of those and seeing what they're like. So that's the herbicide all done. Get this folded up. So I'll just double check. I don't know how well it actually shows up that yeah, it's, not, it's not showing any weeds I uh, don't know why that's all switched off so yeah we still need to get some more fertilizer on the other fields as well so that's probably a job we can do next time uh, to get those done but but today that will be us all done so we'll head back to the farm and we can drop off the John Deere and then we can head up to our new home. I'll we'll get the spray dropped off and get the John Deere put away. need to finish tidying up around here a little bit. Uh, one job we may need to do next time as well is top up the cow's feed. That's one thing we'll do while we're here is just... Why can't I close my door? There we go. Just check on the cows, see how they're doing. So they've got... Oh, they've actually got quite a lot of food left so 73,000 litres in there so I might last them a while uh, plenty of water 11,000 litres of milk we're up to now and I've still got some bedding and we've got 19,000 litres of slurry I think these sheep could 
yeah, they'll need a, a new bale of hay next time. We're, as I did mention last time, we are starting to get a decent amount of wool now. But until we sort the issue out with the long planks. Uh, so I'll probably leave that for another month so they can spawn. And then we'll start manually delivering the long planks to the productions. Because the auto distributes not distributing them uh, very well. So some productions aren't getting enough long planks to keep it running where others are getting too much uh, that they can't process those quick enough uh, but yeah for today we'll end it here so what we're going to do is have a nice drive up to our new home so yeah I hope you have enjoyed this episode if you have then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up I really do appreciate that uh, it does help the videos and the channel as well and if you do have any questions comments or anything you'd like to see then please let me know in the comment section so any comments, I will uh, questions I will try and answer as best as I can uh, and as soon as I can. Tree harvester blocking our path. <laughs> See if we can squeeze past this. I'll we'll get to try out our new bridge in the truck. So I still think I need to do a little bit of landscaping. Although it doesn't seem too bad actually. But yeah, could do with a little bit smoothing out. And yeah, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, then please do consider subscribing. More Farm Simulator 22 videos coming up. We have this series, the time lapse series, and also the live streams as well. There we go. And I'll pick up into our new garage. And get the door closed. I'll we'll go and get some coffee. So yeah, a big thank you for watching. As I said, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you again. Goodbye.